Hey everybody, this is Jeff from My Food Better at Your Mom, and today we are going to be making burgers. You ready? Let's go. Alrighty, so this is very simple. Once our ingredients are chopped up, it's time to work on our meat. So for this we're going to be using 500 grams of minced beef and then we're going to mix it with our powders. Alright, so we are going to add our garlic powder, it comes our onion powder, Here we go, and our pepper. Try to be generous with the pepper. Minced beef loves pepper, so keep that in mind. Alrighty, so there we go. Now we're going in with our salt. Again, this is totally up to you how much salt and pepper you want to add to your meat. So yeah, this is totally optional. It's a uh, Mikey sauce and um, I love it. I personally love it. It's totally optional though. It's not gonna change much, much of the flavor but it's going to add a little bit of a really nice hum to it. So just a couple of drops. I would say like around half a tablespoon. No, even not even, like half a teaspoon maybe. So there we go and now we're going to mix it up. And also something that that's very important though, like a lot of people actually tell you not to fuck with the patty, not to not to mess around with the meat with the beef that much, but I like to play around with my flavor. So in my case, I'm going to add a whole egg, and that's going to change the consistency. So there we go. And now don't be afraid to use your hands. Again, don't be scared of just put your hands in because all those flavors need to be combined. The egg is totally optional. It's really up to you though. Like if you want to, you can just treat it as if it was a steak. Salt, pepper, that's it. That's pretty much the end of the story right there. This is 500 grams of minced beef. That means that we can share that into four different... That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, burgers. Alright, so our meat has been divided into four. Now it's time to grab a grill pan and regular pan. So I'm actually going to put them on medium slash high heat. And with our meat, we're just going to make like some sort of balls, if you will. See? Seriously, this is a little perfect bastard right here. That's beautiful right there. So these are around 140 grams each. We're going to grab our cheese. We're gonna to, we're going to smash the crap out of them just like this. We're gonna grab this. This is our patty right here, right? This is exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna put it there. It needs a little bit of patience. Don't worry about it. Not the most patient, not a patient person on earth, but even for me, it's worth it. Alrighty, try to give a little bit of a pat. There we go. And look at this. Look at this. Looks amazing, right? This is ready. My pan is pretty darn hot. I'm not going to add any, any, any oil whatsoever because these are already pretty oily. That like. This meat already comes with natural oil, so you hear that? That's perfection right there. So I'm just going to let this cook for around two to three minutes on each side. And while we're doing our meat, I'm going to grab our beautiful bread. And once we've got everything, it's just time to put it together. As simple as that. While everything is getting ready, 
I'm just going to show you real quick how I like to make my dressing. Alright guys, so there you have it, an amazing ass burger. If you like this video, always make sure to click the crap out of that like button right there, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.